And what you want to do is you want to come over to this area, to the Goron village. Uh, it's in this little area, to, it, it, in this little in-between area. It, you can see the two treasure chests there. Those are only accessible during spring and if you have the Zora mask. Oh my gosh. Tektites, my least favorite enemy <laughs> in this game. And here's where the piece of heart is. It's pretty simple, really. There we go. We got three of the required uh, amount. Three of the four to get a new heart container. And the one that's back here is just rupees, but uh, we'll, I'll still show it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, 20 rupees is fine. And, and only it, you can, it, they changed it in the 3DS version, but in this version you can't use your guitar underwater. Which makes no sense, because it's basically fishbone, it's not made of wood. Uh, so I don't know what actually the problem is. But there you go. see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to Clock Town. And I probably only have enough time to get, get the, like, next story-related item, which is what I'm gonna try to do. It will make everything else a million times easier. <laughs> um, and it'll lead us to getting several other things along with it, so... Hopefully this will all go well. If not, well, we're kind of in trouble. No. Yeah. Let's get on Epona. And head back to the ocean. I do have in game an hour and like 15 minutes to get the next story item. So I think we're okay. It's going to require quite a bit of like speedish running type of tactics here. Alright. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading towards the pirate fortress. Because they've got what we need there. Oh boy, I may or may not be able to do it. Uh, it's looking like no. Because Andrew just left her room. I might have to hold this off till the second day. But I'm going to try my best. Alright, so this right here is the Pirate Fortress. A fortress that's kind of mediocre. Um, you know what? 
since I probably won't be able to get the item in time, I'm going to jump in with the stone mask because they don't see you when you're in the stone form. I just fell off. <laughs> We're back to this. Alright. Eventually it'll show it. Yeah. And then... Well, peace out. Oh, we're gonna need that for a piece of heart later. And clock, a uh, clock town we go. All right. Another reason why I went to go grab the, uh, so I could just do that. Yeah. <laughs> she walks super slow. A little talk in the kitchen. And she's, it, she seems to just realize that you're the same person. But, you know. It's alright. You know what? No. Let's do this. Let's return the time back to normal so she can actually walk here and not be at a snail's crawl. <laughs> the thing is, if, if she actually has the... I don't think about it. No, I don't. All right, never mind. Uh, is she like walks at a semi-faster pace than normal? And I'm immediately slowing this down because I want to make sure I have enough time to get over to Romani Ranch. Because if you're late, it's kind of bad. So. And she goes through that. Yes. All right, we got the letter again. She says mail it in the morning, but we're going to do it right now, like last time. We're also going to be dropping by the laundry pool before we head out. That's another reason why I decided to slow time down so I had enough time to go do that. So that way we can just go ahead and get all of that taken care of and we don't have to worry about it. Deposit. Here's the deposit. It shall be delivered. Fan. Fantastic. And here's the Song of Storms guy. La 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 They said I was much too loud when I was practicing in my room. They got mad. Ugh. No, I'm sad. I just keep thinking about the past to keep my mind off the bad. Ah, oh, yes. I'll do that. Dear guest. Long ago. I was in an animal troop with dogs and donkeys and such. Why could I? Why could I? 
Why could a man joy? That's cause a man is an animal too, my boy. They were all great, but there was one thing I didn't like about it. Why was the, why was the, why was the dog the leader? Was there something wrong with me, sir? Oh, that dog was an amazing leader. He always had a stellar troop, no matter what animals he had to work with. That's why I, that's why I, that's why I stole it. The dog's mask. I stole it. I wanted it because it was the leader's mask. But I no longer need it. Need it. I give it to my guest. Yeah, so now we're an accessory to theft. <laughs> yeah, he straight up steals this mask and then pawns it off to us. Why we take it, I don't know, but... <laughs> We're, we're, we're an accessory at this point. We just happily take it. <laughs> the leader was a good instructor. His members matured quickly, and they became adults in an instant. Guru Guru, the traveling musician, was added to your notebook. You listened to his confession of guilt. This was also added to your notebook. You should also add in there, you became an accessory. But, uh, I, I guess this is Nintendo, and I don't want to just put that into the idea of everything. But, you know... Actually, you know what? No. Hold on. Before I warp. Before I warp. Since it's spring. Ah, Dagero. It has been so long. What brought all you all this way? Could it be? Has spring finally come to the mountains? Ah, that look. It is true. Our winter was so long I began to lose all hope. I understand. I shall head for the mountains immediately. That is one of four frogs we have to go get. Yeah. Two are in the swamp. One is right here in the laundry pool, and one is in Great Bay. We haven't actually seen him yet. We'll get to it in this cycle. That's why I went ahead to start it. Uh, we'll... Also, we'll do a good bit in the second day, actually. No, oh, me. Oh, my. Alright, so... Let's get rolling. Uh, there we go. Um, I think we're good. This is actually kind of crazy. We were missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine masks. <laughs> good grief. We're moving along. All right, so. Now... Here's the thing. There's two ways you can go about this. You can do this, which will speed up the flow of time, and it will make this a little bit more hectic, but it goes by faster. Uh, you can slow down time to slow down them, and you can do it that way, but it does take longer in the long run. Uh, you may run out of arrows, which is another why reason that it's good to go ahead and get at least one, if not both, the quiver upgrades. Um, there's always going to be arrows in this box, so don't, I'm not going to break it, but in case you need it, it's there. So, like she said, it's going to begin at 2 o'clock, and that little star right there, that's the little spaceship that they end up coming on. Romani Ranch, Village of Milk, eight, uh, six p, well, six a.m. to eight p.m. I was getting those two messed up. My bad. Uh, even though she says it's two o'clock, it doesn't actually begin till two thirty. So you've got 
two and a half hours to take care of everything. But she comes out at two. If you want to talk, but let's talk to her. It's almost time. You take care of things outside, Grasshopper. If you have a map, watch your map carefully. Okay? Whatever happens, do not let them get to the barn. They'll come from behind the barn, too, so watch out. If you run out of arrows, we have crates of them near the house, so stock up when you need to. Now, I don't know why they paraded this as, hey, get on a poda, ride around, and shoot them when you have to protect the barn. You, you, you just basically need to become a turret and just defeat any of them that show up here. You only have to shoot the ones that are getting closer to the barn, but it's it's still kind of valid of an idea to make sure you keep an eye out to take these dudes out. The dog will actually help quite a bit. He will bark at the closest one. So... He kind of gives you an idea what area to look closer at. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. There we go. Again, if you do need to slow things down, you can. It does slow them down. But we're actually getting... Oh, gosh. Oh no. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh yeah, I forgot. They drop arrows too. But you're not going to want to really leave the area around the barn. I... I thought it was five. Oh, there we go. I guess it was, what was it, 5.30, 5.15, something like that? 5.15, okay. We did it. We won. Thank you. Thanks to you, the cows are giving thanks too. Here's Romani's thanks. When you drink it, put your hand on your hip and take a big gulp like we do here at the ranch. And we got ourselves a milk bottle with the actual bottle. <laughs> One big gulp will have you feeling great. You recover five hearts per gulp. This bottle contains two gulps. When it's empty, recycle the bottle. It's almost time for my sister to get up, so I have to get back to bed. See you later, little hero. You helped the ranch girl and saved the cows. This was added to your notebook. And so she kind of already just goes off to bed. I'm going to go ahead and reset the flow of time to slow because I'll forget otherwise. Alright. But yeah, if you run out like I almost did, there's 30 arrows in that. Ugh. Ugh that was some pressure. I'm trying to commentate with that nonsense going on. Um, But yeah, if you ever really do need to get some arrows, there's arrows back here too in the bushes. But... If you're going to do that, you probably want to have the slower flow of time. Because they do actually move slower. 
There we go. But yeah, it, and if you mess up, uh, you don't get the bottle, and well, some pretty crazy things happen. I, I'll probably show it at some later point on a different cycle. When does this open? I'm curious. 6 a.m. Alright, cool. And our next task is to do this here. And... Why is it panning like that? That's extremely weird. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe it's because it's turning into... Yeah, oh gosh. <laughs> That's weird. Maybe it's because it's like, oh, it's about to turn the clock over, and then you pause it, and it's having an aneurysm because of it. I don't know. <laughs> Either one's really possible at this point. Oh, gosh. Dawn of the second day. Uh, let's go inside here, like I was saying we were gonna do. And this is the cuckoo. A uh, cuckoo. Uh, no, cuckoo? Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna read that name right, to be honest. I hear it from my gramps. Says the moon's gonna fall. It's not that big. I'm sure it's gonna take the ranch down with it. Huh. <sighs> oh well. My only regret is I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. The Kuka loving Gorg was added to your notebook. Well, if you recall, we got a mask not that long ago that was to help mature animals as adults like incredibly quickly so our job on this is to gather all of the little chicks and you do have to keep this march up the entire time because otherwise it's going it like they'll scatter and you have to regather them and they scatter pretty quickly so it it takes and it takes a while for them to be able to get picked back up by the march it's weird but not too bad. And once you gather all of the chicks, they start turning into roosters. There we go. I don't really get it. But seeing these guys with a crest and all, I don't have any regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this from me. And we get ourselves the bunny hood. My, what long ears it has. Uh, I guess that's a, a Goldilocks reference. I don't know. Will the power of the wild spring forth? Yeah, these guys are all roosters. <laughs> Don't know what that was about. You fulfilled the wishes of the youth. This was added to your notebook. Oh my gosh, we finally get the buddy hood. I am so happy. <clears throat> this makes running around so much easier. Oh my goodness, we can now run. Yes. 
I know this is the third cycle, but still. <clears throat> I kept forgetting about getting the Brennan mask, otherwise I would have gotten it last time. It, it, in the last cycle. But what we want to do is come back to the barn. Oh my, hello. Romani's gonna take our milk to Clocktown too. You're looking after the place. The cows will be all alone otherwise. Yes, sister. I'm going um, by wagon into town. Would you like a ride? I'll be leaving at six o'clock this evening, so you can join me if you'd like. I would. So there are three store uh, like side quest related things we need to do. And that is we need to talk to Cafe, give the pendant to Andrew, and also take a ride into town with Creamia. So it, and they all happen pretty quickly cl and close together, so uh, we're gonna have to make sure we don't have to worry about it later. Oh, actually, you know what? I, I'll keep Epona by the warp over here. That way I don't have to call for her again. Alright. Here we go. Because we've got ourselves a sword to get. And it's all the way up in the mountain village. Uh, before I actually give it back to the guy, I'm going to want to get the warp uh, stone in Great Bay. And then I'll come back and do that. So I'm not having to constantly use Epona to get back into great bay every single time during this cycle because that's going to be a giant pain in the neck I, i'll actually get both of the warps in great bay uh i kept you waiting but you see we got the razor sword this is a sharper blade that cuts above the rust use it a hundred times without dulling its superior edge now keep it in mind after you use it you got that gold dust oh no oh i hit the but basically he said, unless you have gold dust, gold dust, I can't make that uh, change permanent. So what we're going to do real quick while we have the razor sword, I'm going to go back to where Epona is, go to Great Bay, unlock both of the statues. That way we can warp throughout that area for the rest of the cycle. We shouldn't have any of any problems. I say that, but we might have some, depending on how things go. I don't know. All right. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, Link! Don't you dare to curry. I will. <laughs> I will be upset if you attack me. Because if he takes my sword, I'm done. <laughs> I, like, I, I can't do anything if he takes my sword. <laughs> that would really stink. Alright. Let's go ahead and get moving. Get moving. Ow. I, I will say this. I like... I, I don't remember if I mentioned this before, but it's so nice when they did the 
uh, they redid the owl statues in the 3DS version. You had to just walk up and talk to them. You don't need a sword to unlock it. it why they made you have to hit the stone with your sword is beyond me, really. It made it, it to me. It makes no sense, but you know, whatever. That's what they did with this version. The thing is, though, both the N64 and the 3DS version have its faults, but I like the N64 version a lot better because the faults of this version, it, while it is ridiculous to some extent with some of them, especially like with the save stone, it, the owl statues, it, it kind of takes a lot of the redundancy out of some of the the need to do some of the crazier things in the 3DS version. And honestly, if you're doing 100%, you don't have to do as much in this game than it, the 3DS version. They add like a whole bunch of stuff in that version. Because especially if you're aiming for like 100% with the bomber's notebook and everything. We'll kind of go through the whole Zora Hall bit and everything later. I just came to quickly do this. And we'll get the Razor Sword back. Because we're not going to be able to get to the other... Well, we might be able to. We actually could. Now I think about it. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think we're actually all right. Urger, 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 urger. Ah, huh? a customer. Gabora, fetch a customer coffee, quick luck. Now then, let me look at your sword. Mm -hmm. Hey, now that's a mean joke. Your sword is already reforged to the razor sword. Unless you want me to make your sword stronger. To do that, I need gold dust. Do you have any? Why, yes, I do. Why, if it isn't gold dust, and it's even top quality. Uh, I, if I use it to reforge your sword, there'll still be some left. All right. Just for you, I'll do it for free. But don't tell anyone. Thanks for dropping in. Now then, I'm off straight to work. Come back tomorrow morning. And once again, if you look, he's the one doing the work. Huh? Look, I'm look working on strengthening your sword. I'm busy, so don't bother me. <laughs> he has such a huge hammer hitting our sword. And yet, he's still willing to say, after being caught, that he is working on the sword. Not, not the big guy. The big guy, apparently, isn't doing anything. Uh, at any rate, enough for calling hypocrites at the moment. Um, we're gonna do one other quick thing, uh, and that is gonna be involved going into the palace here. We're going to be getting the uh, the the frog in this area. Oh, I, I do need to be Deku for this. But, yeah. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it here, and when we come back, I will be in front of the gecko. Well, not the gecko, but you do have to beat the gecko to get the little frog guy in this area, and then we'll kind of go from there. So I will be right back. <laughs> 